So Denmark off to a flyer. Two love up against Chinese Taipei in this quarter final. Tai Menton's doubles is up next, and it's the world number ones, Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen of Denmark up against Liu Sheng Mu and Tai Chia Sin. from Taipei have been in wonderful form so far in this Sudaman Cup campaign. Of course, the very first match they played on day one of competition, that was last Sunday, Sunday the 19th. They played against Malaysia. First match on court was this pair from Taipei against former world number ones, Ku Kian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong, current world number threes. And they won in two straight games, 21-18, 21-18. And that really set up Taipei for the most extraordinary victory against the seeded team of Malaysia. Of course, Malaysia have come into the competition as the number three seeds. They haven't even progressed through to today's quarter-final stage. They were beaten 3-2 by Taipei. And then they were beaten by Germany. 3-2 as well. 3-2 as well. So the horse are progressing through to the knockout stage. And their downfall started with this men's doubles pair because Tai Chia Sin and Li Sheng Mu were absolutely brilliant. I don't know whether you got a glimpse of that. No, 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 that I we must admit I did not. Yeah. Well, I've certainly seen this Taipei pair playing before. And I been very impressed with them indeed. Last year they won the Macau Grand Prix and semi-final of the Hong Kong Super Series. And when you consider that that Hong Kong Super Series event was their first ever tournament together to reach the semi-final and then in their second tournament to win the Macau Grand Prix is fairly astonishing start. It's a very good start, and I'm so happy you're saying this because I'm watching these two players, and I cannot recollect I've seen them play. And then, <laughs> thank God, you you told me that you know they started not long ago playing together. Yes, well, Li Sheng Lu is 26 years of age. His partner a little older at the age of 30. Now their ranking of 26 in the world is because they've only played seven tournaments together. Mm -hmm. But their win-loss record for the year, one semi-final, that was in the German uh, Grand Prix, a couple of quarter-finals as well. But I'm sure, Morton, you remember Li Sheng Mu playing with Fang Chia Min because, uh, of okay. course, they were world number threes. I had one six two years ago. That's like right. Yeah. Played together, in fact, at the Olympic Games. So to the world number ones, current world number ones, Matthias Bo, the left-hander. He's 32. His partner, Carsten Morganson, is 29. And their win-loss record for the year for world number ones is not perhaps what they would have wanted because they've reached one final. That was the first Super Series of the year, the Korean Super Series. But they've lost in the quarter-final of the last Super Series. That was India. And the second round of the All England, though they were the number one seeds. And to add to that, in the semi-final, of the European Mixed Team Championships, they lost the English combination of Chris Adcock and Andrew Ellis. So, of course, the world number ones have a whole list of fantastic results over the 10 years that they've been playing together. And, of course, probably the bis biggest was the silver medal at the Olympic Games last year in London. Karampa. Wanyama from Indonesia and Su Kui Sun from Malaysia. Now, of course, the situation as far as the overall tie is concerned is that it's a must-win situation for Taipei. If they lose this men's doubles, they are out of the competition and their dream of reaching their first ever Sudaman Cup semi-final will not transpire. And of course, Denmark in contrast, only twice in the 12 previous competitions of this Sudaman Cup, only twice have failed to reach the 
the semi-final stage and twice of course have gone on to reach the final including two years ago in Qingdao. Other occasion of course was 1999 in Copenhagen where they have their home support. So this Taipei pair not only beating uh, Kukian Kiat and Tan Boon Hyong of Malaysia in the first match beat Ingo Kinderfather and Johannes Schottler from Germany in Taipei's five love victory over Germany in the group stage. Well, making sure the Danes have got their kick boxes absolutely spick and span. I wouldn't like that umpire to come to my home. They're very <laughs> untidy. <laughs> So this is the first meeting between these two pairs. Not surprising, considering that the pair from Taipei are such a new partnership. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Denmark, represented by Carlson Mogensen and Matthias Fu. And on my left, Hong Kong, China, Taipei, represented by Lee Song Mu and Chi Chia Sin. China to Taipei to serve, Lee Song Mu to Matthias Wu. Love all. Play. A must win situation for the player from Taipei. Sai Chi Sin and Lee Sheng Mu. Tall order against the world number ones, Matthias Bow and Carsten Morganson. But given the form of the Taipei pair earlier this week, well, who knows? Yep, we never know. I can I can say that when I spoke to the Danish camp, uh, this is uh, really one of the critical matches for the Danish team. Yes, on paper they they look like hot favourites to win, but uh, they're not completely sure. played and Matthias Bowe already taking his time and already he's going to have a word with the umpire and the service judge doesn't like that serve that's a great serve oh, it's not a shabby smash either these Taipei players, they certainly know how to put the shuttle on the floor, don't they? They do. I was actually thinking exactly the same. They are all very hard hitting. changed. Matthias Bowe. There's a lot of psychology goes on with this young man, isn't there? Yes. He's always in some kind of dispute with either the umpires, referees, uh, opponents, even himself at times. <laughs> That's a good serve. Really good serve. Flipping the tape as well. Oh, 
Bogomson were playing against the Japanese pair of Hayakawa and Endo. Uh, they play very short rallies. They like to have the good serve, looking for the third shot. Yeah. Yeah, they're good playing the, the second and the first shot. They're very good at it. But they also take chances on it. And uh, if it doesn't work, you can take the game totally apart. Strings have gone in the racket yeah. of Matthias of Custom Mogensen. Easy to hear. Yeah. I'm surprised he tried to take that one. <laughs> that last one. Just shows how confident he is. He is a very conf confident young man. Very clever from Tai Chua Sin. Long choice and short to block across court to the left hander coming forward. And that's why Matthias Bow is so good, isn't it? Comes forward. Good it, yeah, good at it. I started off having some good smashes. Just enough pace on it to make it very awkward. <laughs> well, it's interesting. I think that this man is a little bit nervous, Master Mogensen. A couple of times he looked rather sort of stiff in his arm, not really relaxing into his shot making. That was surely calm. Yeah. But it's it's a, it's a funny game. I'm sitting here, I don't know really what to say because it's it's all about these three first shots again. It's the serve, the return, and the third shot, and that's it. And that's all the game. There's hardly any play whatsoever. Mm, it is becoming more and more typical of men's doubles. This is more like oh, it. Woof, queuing up. Queuing <laughs> up at the net there. That was quick, both of them. Probably both of them. <laughs> so true. Look at that defensive shot. Yeah, really well played. Oh, level. And it is the Danes. We go into the mid-game input with the slumberest of margins. Just one point in it. Little over six minutes. Oh, 
Oh, what a backhand. Oh, that's a very difficult shot. Oh, you can move. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, no. yeah. That's why Carsten was looking. Yeah. Defense from Sai Chia Sin. He was rather committed to his forehand side, though, wasn't he? Yes, very. Yeah, Chia Sin is, is really moving into the net here. Look at that, how he's storming forward again, trying to intercept it. It's either a brilliant winner or, as we saw here, an er erratic mistake. Oh, my goodness! So now we're offering oh. the pace. Oh, what a miss! <laughs> Once again. Played so well earlier on in the rally. And that was a real opportunity. <laughs> Look at the reaction <laughs> of his partner. <laughs> yeah. He's almost on the floor. Yeah. He didn't like the serve, thought it was oh. high. But it wasn't called. And then it wasn't high. Wasn't committed to his forehand defence again. I don't know whether that's guessing correctly. Oh, well, the Danes just aren't really aware of his positioning. this so far not really a great pattern to it sort of uh, rather random whatever happens at the moment I think myself Defense. I think Fidanis has been on a good run here. 16 14 up. I think they can be very happy. So far, none of the pairs have really been able to make a, a long string of points. So, um, so I think they're sitting quite uh, comfortable. It's two points in a row now. Let's see if they can get the third. Double hit, yeah. indeed, they do get the turn and they're back level. Yep, I should never have mentioned it. I think it must be one of the first times one of the pairs are getting three points in a row. Change 
crossed his mind. Uh, it's a good, good, clever little shot, but to play from a quite low position. A few of those at the net now, hasn't he? Yeah, he I, in, in my, for my personal taste, I think he's hitting them too hard. Oh, certainly too much of a racket swing for my liking. Yeah, it, it have to be more delicate when you're standing this close to the net, and he's really whacking them. Oh, big, big gap. Oh, was it a double hit? Perhaps, yes. Yes, yeah. yeah. They seem to stop. Two points away from this open game. Oh, good return. Oh, my goodness. The elevation that Li Sheng Mu got on the first smash and then once again on the drop shot look at that nice way up there oh, it is but it just can't change direction good return yeah that's very very good smash from both brings up the important opportunities, three of them to be precise. Uh, you can see from where he's jumping, the lift wasn't that deep in court, but he still went very well to put the smash away. First one point saved. Going wide, second time of asking. And then we take the opening game. 21-18 confirms the umpire in the world number ones. Coming through game number one in Denmark, seemingly in the driving seat. Just 16 minutes for the opening game. It's quite interesting to hear what Carsten is saying because we've discussed so much about, you know, they're very good on the first three shots and all that. And Carsten said, we have to show them whatever happens. We're not scared of playing points with them, you know, not having to finish everything so early. Just play with them, show them. Even if we make mistakes now and again, it doesn't matter. We have to show them that we also can play with them. Quite interesting. Mm. Interesting. Maybe even surprising. I think it's because they're discussing it because they're standing on the on the slow side, so to speak, that uh, they will play. Okay. So uh, they can lift a bit more and all that. So. Yeah, it's 
switching from one side to the other. Joe playing the backhand defence. Then played down his forehand side. Yes, Just long. Oh, it's a good return. Li Shen Lu playing the shuttle once it had gone past him. And also the fact that it's, it's coming down, so he's got to play it up with as well. So you're very right, it's a good return for Matthias. Yes. Uh, not such a powerful smash, just taking a bit of pace off that one, just for the variation. I think he imparted a bit of slice on that, didn't he? Yes, quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, I think he always almost moved too early on that return of surf. So I in here. Serving. And called a fault. You have to be really sure when you're flicking your serve that it's not struck above the waist as uh, so many of the players are indicating that they're doing. I know we've seen on occasions that the Taipei pair have a good defense, but I think most of the time that's where they have their weakest point is actually in the defense. Uh, they have to be on attack the whole time in order to play well. Yeah. They also like to, when they're on the attack, they like to play at 100 miles an hour, everything, don't they? Yeah. And just break up their preferred rhythm and they can defend or and that's what the game is really yeah. good at following their own pace and rhythm breaking up everybody else struggling to work out what to do. I just think that they should push it away from Matthias. 
on the return of serve. Just push it away from him. The points are given to either side, but we have hardly um, no play. It's, it's all yeah. about the serve. Drifted wide. And we need for the Danes to win the game into what a five point advantage. And it just seems to me not that. Play pair, seem to have just run out of ideas, don't have a set direction of what they're trying to do. Well, they have to play mid-court area, pass uh, Matthias at the front of the net, front court, and get uh, Carsten to lift it, and then attack from there. Get it past Matthias at the front. Concerned about their mm. body language. Yeah. They don't look to me as if they have that belief anymore. No. No. I fully agree. Oh, look at the disappointment. Yeah, for this kind of standard, it's it's a you know easy shot, standard shot, missed. Lost the self confidence. Yep. Well, they're not willing to celebrate the Danish coaches until the final point has been won. Still looking very serious. Well, look at that. Do that. He was close to miss it. He actually yeah. clipped the tape. Yeah. And he didn't have to hit it that hard, it was a complete sitter. Who's making the errors? Come on. 
Douglas will rally we've had in this mm. second game. <laughs> Almost finished. Mm. Oh, correction by the umpire. Yeah. in it. It's coming very steep in front of the two Taipei players. Oh, I thought he was looking nervous in the early stages. He's absolutely flowing now. He's close to Mogensen. Sim will have to serve again. Do oh, take that? <laughs> That's the word. <laughs> take that. Two points away, Denmark. Oh, 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 victory. Oh, yeah, very convincing. Final. Very convincing in this uh, men's doubles. A moment of defiance from Taipei. Oh, surely too little too late. Yera on the backhand from Sai Chia Sin. And nine match point opportunities. Denmark. One will do, and for an 11th, 11th time in 13 Sudaman Cups. Denmark progress through to the semi-final. What a convincing quarter-final victory. Remember, of course, Chinese Taipei topped their group. Group C beating Malaysia and Germany. But they have been well and truly beaten today by Denmark. This men's doubles 21-18, 21-11. In 32 minutes of play, through to the semi final once more. Matthias Bo and Carsten Mogensen, and the traditional Danish celebration to their teammates and fans. Well, it all started with mixed doubles today and the World Championship and Olympic bronze medalists from Denmark were in great form. Two straight games against Chen Hung Ling and Chen Wen Sing. 21-13, 21-16 in 40 minutes, and of course it was men's singles, and what a thrilling match we had. Jan Jorgensen winning the first 21-18, but Sir Twenty taking the second in tremendous style with some absolutely magnificent attacking play. 21-14, he won that second game, but it was all one way in the decider. 21-7, Jan Jorgensen 
winning the third game of the men's singles. And as we've just witnessed the men's doubles, the world number ones, Matthias Bo and Karsten Mogensen. Well, it was a pretty tight opening game as far as the score was concerned, 21-18. But the second game, the Danes, the Olympic silver medalists, were always in control. 21-11 in a match lasting just 32 minutes. Well, there is confirmation of Denmark's quarter-final victory over Chinese Taipei. Three love their victory, and it means, of course, that they will meet the defending champions, the eight-time winners, China, in the semi-final stage. We don't yet know who Korea will meet in their semi-final. Thailand and Japan, as you can see, are locked at one match apiece in their quarter-final. Well, that's it for today from the Putra Stadium. From Morton Frost and myself, Joel Clark. Remember, of course, tomorrow we're here very early, 08.30, that's 0030 GMT. Set your alarms, get up early. Plenty more action to come from all of us here in Kuala Lumpur. Bye for now.